Pink Kang's it's Jaina Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. Jewel School, Jewel School. <laughs> Jewel School, we haven't had Jewel School in like forever. Come on in and say hello. Yes, you'll notice my voice is back. Thank God. Guess what else is back? Shipping through Royal Mail. I'm just waiting for the new postal meter. Come on in and say hello. Guess I'm back, back, back again. <laughs> like bad breath, you can't kill me. Hey, Lori. Not only is it jewel school, uh, just before I stepped out to get my nails done today, I actually got a huge package. So, we're going to do an unboxing and jewel school. I'm very well, thank you. How about you, girl? I know you have a birthday coming up soon. What is it, day before Valentine's? Oh yeah, yeah, antibiotics did the trick. Something had to wipe all that nastiness out. Come on in, say hello. Give me a thumbs up to feed the algorithm. If you just missed it, Royal Mail is shipping again. Amen. I have to get a postal meter. Everything has to be metered. Oh, hey, Justine. Isn't she a pretty girl? Hydrant. Oh, my God, Hydrant. Anybody who's tried to email me in the last four days, I haven't been able to access my email. <laughs> hi, Justine. Hi, Sharon. Yes. Thank you, dear Jesus. Um, I had to get a postal meter. Everything has to be printed off. All of the custom forms have to be printed off. It's a big pain in the you know what, but guess what? It's working. And Hydrin, I want to thank you, sweetheart. Hydrin recommended DHL. So I contacted DHL. I found out that there was a DHL, um, not really a depot. It's like um, a counter. They send it out from a store. Hi, Kimberly. And I was so excited because DHL promised me, oh, you won't have to print out labels. We'll do the labeling for you. Um, we provide packaging over and above your packaging. So I thought, wow, everything's going to be really safely packaged. It's, it's going to be great. They said, oh, we're competitive with Royal Mail. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I went in Tuesday and DHL told me there at the counter, I brought two sample packages in, the package for um, Anne, AG, in Germany, and a package for another person in the States just to get a quote. Well, the one to Germany wasn't bad, but they don't print anything there. You have to print it off at home. You measure it, and it's a guesstimate on the weight because they add their packaging as well. Hi, Christina. Here she, she's here. She's not going to miss that teacup. So, long story short, when I handed him the other package, which was what Royal Mail would consider a large envelope. Okay. And it would cost me about 17 pounds, which is about $22. Fine. 
um, their DHL was 58 pounds. That's $70. I said the order was for $198. I can't ship. I can't pay $70. Hey, Ramel. I always say queens and kings, even though we have majority women. We do have a few men that pop in. Doug pops in. Um, the fellow from Pittsburgh pops in. So, yeah, $70, 70 to ship a $198 package. I literally, and honest to God, I cried. I broke down, I broke down in tears. I couldn't, I, I'm like, oh my God, I can't do it. Well, I mean, the upside is if, if I could afford that kind of packaging, you would get your packages in three to five days, they promised. And like, it, like they're telling me, they're telling me, oh yeah, well, three to five days, it's not going to be a problem. We have our own customs. Absolutely, it was worth a shot. And they, you know, they suckered me in. It wasn't you, honey. You know, oh, we're competitive. Blah, 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 da, dee, da. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm down. You know, I was so excited. I, I practically skipped to that store. Um... If you're here in the UK or if you've been in the UK, it's a W.H. Smith, which is kind of like an office supply store or something. It wasn't, I don't think it's rude. I think it was, they're just taking advantage of the situation. Hey, Terry. So, I have boxed everyone. Um, we're having a sale this weekend, so there's no reason to clear, you know, nothing will be shipped until Monday anyways. I love forget-me-nots, man. I'm a forget-me-not junkie. There's a couple of them. There's another one, too. I don't know where the, I must have put the, I took the other one off when I cleared my desk. But I put this out because the beautiful queen has... Of course, yellow roses and yellow carnations. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I looked around and, you know, I, I've had a week to look around. And I saw that a lot of people were, you know, square square nails and, and red glittery polish. You know, one of my... One of my go-tos. And I'm like, okay. All right. So, let's go stiletto and hot pink. Why don't we? Valentine's Day. Little hearts on the... A couple of the fingers. My manicurist wanted to put them on all of them. I'm like, nah, I think that's a little too much. After about a week, I'll go silly anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, you know, I'm getting used to them. They're kind of like talons. Hi, <laughs> Cindy. So we'll wait to get a few more people in. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Guys, you haven't, please comment on the videos. That really helps. So I hope everyone is happy that everyone is going to be shipped. We're all shipping through Royal Mail. And each and every one of your packages. I know it wasn't my fault. Listen. Oh, purple. If you have to watch it back because... I want you all, once I show you things, I want you all to vote what you want to see on Friday and Saturday because I'm going to show you a lot. Because, because I was off for a week doesn't mean that I quit buying. Well, each and every one of you will get 
an extra, at least an extra piece, a considerable piece in your order. Every one of you. Like Terry loves butterfly. She loves butterfly. And I have a necklace that I showed a couple times, but I never ever did give a price on it. But every time I showed it, Terry asked about it. So that is going into Terry's package. Oh, there's tons. There's so, there's so much. And every single person, I don't care if you ordered something small, you're still going to get a considerable gift. It wasn't my fault, but you've all been inconvenienced. We've all been inconvenienced, but you guys have been inconvenienced the most. Me, I've just got an, a big shipping box here full of packages. No, it is, it is, oh, you don't know. You don't know what it did to me. I, the last time I checked them, it scared the living daylights out of me, Terry. It said, we've got, the Royal Mail said, we've got this. I'm like, what do you mean you've got it? That's all they said. They didn't tell me was it was in transit. They just said, we've got this. Oh, yeah, nothing says, like, I'm scared to death, like, we've got this. Usually when someone says they have something, they don't. It scares the bejesus out of me. I mean, clearly, you know, the Coronation tea set will be on offer. The Tiffany necklace will be on offer. There's garnets. There's garnets you haven't even seen. I've showed you some. But a lot of people ask for sterling and garnet rings, so of course I'm going to get them. I like to have something for everyone's pocket. You know, I've realized that my things are vintage and antique. I realize that, you know, it, they're investments. My pieces are investments. But saying that, they're worth something. Hi, Leslie. Garnets. I love this one with the hearts. And this has hearts up the side. And then that's just a big cluster flower. Just in case you can't see them. All three are gorgeous. I don't have them down on my finger, clearly. And, of course, we have the big, the big garnet box. Two pair of garnets. I haven't got my gold wires in for, those other, for that other bohemian pair. There's a bohemian pair and there's a pair of Art Deco. Large cabochon. If anyone's after garnet earrings. Um, I have one of these. These are vintage. And this is mine. But I have one of these in the original package. Which it's Swarovski. Crystal set with the real pearl. She's in Pennsylvania. Or Terry is. Uh, 
you know what, Tara, you know what, uh, you might be in luck there, Sharon. I have that fabulous um, Japanese brooch, and I think there's some amber in the unboxing. There might, there just might be. So let's click on back here. You guys asked me for gold padlocks, so Mr. Bob came through. This is uh, 1901 and rose gold. There's yellow gold, yellow gold, antique engraved yellow gold. Um, this one is roll gold because I'd like to have something for everyone's pocket. You know, maybe you can't afford a a gold padlock. Maybe you can only afford a, a roll gold padlock. So I like to have something for everyone. You know that. There's a new Art Deco. Well, there are two new Art Deco. This one is Green Apple. 14 karat gold. 8 carats of Green Apple Jade. Imperial Green Apple. This one is an 18 karat gold. And it's 12 carats of Celadon Jade. And yes, it goes with that Celadon strand. Marlaney, Marlaney. Wait till you see what I put in your package, girl. Marlaney likes turquoise, and that's all I'm going to say. So. Oh, that's sweet, Christina. Yeah, my son is in Ohio. I know it's bitter cold there. I worry about him. Because he always leaves a hat, the house without hat and gloves. What if her vehicle breaks down? Yeah, I've been on a, a jade kick. I have to be quite honest with you. And the other day, I showed you the ring tray and I said, oh, the whole bottom tray is going to be 100, you know, or under start bid. Let me take this. But I didn't really show the whole tray. So every single one of these Oh, that's 28 carats of Aquapraise in gold with diamond accents and Art Deco mounting, Art Deco styled. Of course, Aquapraise has only been, they only found it 10 years ago. Levion has nearly this identical ring. It is thousands, thousands of dollars. This will not be thousands. The snakey snake is there. Hello, Maryland. Western Pennsylvania. I'm from Southwest Pennsylvania originally. Just outside of Pittsburgh. So, we'll go through all the rings in a bit. 
And just a quick overview, I'll tell you when they're from, what they are, you know, the approximate carat weight, and, you know, on the stones that are, you know, clearly are carrots. And anything in gold, you know, can be sized. Anything that is sterling can only be sized up. <laughs> Deb, she's so darn funny. She said, why don't you do a road trip? You could pack your bags full of packages and we'll go to everyone's house and we'll turn up and I can film the reactions. I've been to Elwood City. Yeah, there are, oh, wait, cameos? Oh, oh, wait, wait. First, we're going to do the unboxing. Then we'll get to everything that you guys can tell me what you want to see. You can vote for what you want to see on what days. Because I am going to have a sale on Friday for at least two or three hours. And then Saturday... You know, we'll do the marathon five or six hours. She's, it's beautiful. I told you that I found a smiling queen. I said she looks a bit more serious than the laughing queen. But it's still beautiful. It's still rare. Of course, you know, all of those coronation ones and the um, her wedding one, they're all, they're rare. I mean, they're old. They didn't make that many and how many of them survived. I think I'm trying to buy them all up. I, you weren't talking about cameos, so I will show you this one. This is nearly four grams of 14 karat gold. Yes, I have the teacups. And this is the goddess Persephone, the goddess of spring. Don't we need a bit of spring right now? And she's she's a pendant. She's not a brooch. She's on a fine pendant. Gold chain, of course. I just ordered... They were crazy expensive. I just ordered 10 pendant chains. Because I quite often get gold pendants and you need gold chains. And they don't always come with the antique chain. Unfortunately. So, let me clean my desk so we can do an unboxing. It's a big box, too. I'll show you guys the box. It's not really that heavy, but it is big. Let me pull back here. God, I don't even think I can get it on my desk at the moment. Let's turn this sideways, and I've got this lamp in the way. It's, it's, it's a, it's a big box, guys. Hello, Schneider Vintage. Welcome to Killer Queen Antiques. I sell vintage. Hey, Colleen. I sell vintage and I sell antiques and I sell modern classics. And you can trust my taste. I mean, I can show you jewelry that I sold and picked out 40 years ago that still looks current. That's a classic. You know, I was a buyer for a huge company. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. They packed this sucker well. It's bubbled and peanutted. And, oh, I hate these peanuts. Styrofoam. It's a bane of the earth, isn't it? All right. What do we have? First big bubble wrapped package. I think these might be my eggs. What it looks like, Russian eggs. Mamma Mia. Oh, gracious. They were bubble wrapped and peanutted and of course now they have to bag them. Sorry guys. There's one, two, three, four. Um, no, Sharon, there won't be amber in that package. That was it, was the eggs. Wow. Okay. Same, same auction house, but, but these are, these, these are, <laughs> they're stunning. They're all enamel. Well, here they are in the box. It's an egg and the matching spoon. They're vintage, but they're brand new in the package. Hey, Deborah. So every single one of them, if I recall, was different. Yeah, there's no no way in God's green earth I could ship these with DHL. They, <laughs> that one little package didn't even weigh a pound. And they wanted 58 pounds. 70, 72 dollars. I forget what the exchange rate was on it. I just, I just cried. Oh, this one. Oh, my goodness. It goes like that. And then that's the spoon. They're, they're not, they're not your average enameled egg. That's for certain. They were just that little bit extra pretty. I like, I had to buy them. You know, I love my 
my tchotchkes and my trinkets. Oh, wow. Look at that one. It's like a hot orange red. Yeah, if if you're if you're new and like you're used to channels that have thrifted items or I I don't know where they pick stuff up at yard sales whatever I buy most of what I buy at auction or from private dealers. When it's a specialty piece, I buy it from private dealers. Oh, there's another orange one. Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. And all of them have, like, a description with them. This one's called the Golden Garden. My favorite sunflowers are Russian. I had sunflowers that were unbelievable this year. They were over 12 foot, some of them. And I like the Russian because they grow quickly. Because they're, you know, adapted for a cold climate. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the base on this one. Holy. And I hate to, like, say, Nikki, but how's your dad? Because we love you, but... <laughs> We want, we want to know your dad's okay. And Terry, how's your dad, honey? My daddy's been gone April, gosh, April 5th, 21 years. Too long. When I was really, really sick there, I, I thought I was going to see him for a while. And then I misplaced my phone. Then I reset all my passwords. I guess he forgot to lock all of their passwords in. Me, of course. That's how I that locked out of my email for four days. Oh, that's good, Terry. I, I didn't talk to Deb for at least four or five days. And finally, I saw her message. My messenger messages weren't even going to my phone screen. You know how, like, you'll see your messages before you open Messenger? My phone was all screwed up. Well, I screwed it up. First of all, because I misplaced the thing. Oh my God, it was like someone cut my arm off. I'm like, oh, can I take, can I take another thing? I don't know. Just take a deep breath. Center yourself because it'll all resolve. No matter how it resolves, it'll all resolve. So, so much for the unboxing. It was beautiful enamel eggs, but that's it. Which is good because we have a lot to get through. Okay. 
I was going to say are the only requests, but. Oh, my. Honey, I know it. We lived on eggshells with my dad for 18 months. Then he would do really well and we'd be hopeful. Oh, look, you know, he's doing better. His stats are better. You know, he's breathing better. He's moving better. And yeah. Just appreciate the time that you have with him. I know you do. Okay. Well, I guess I should show you the queen first, huh? Oh, honey, I do. I do, because I, I don't have a daddy anymore. Of course, that's her coronation. The mirror. Everything. It's in lovely condition. I actually got it in the Stratton box. It was someone's Christmas present. So she was very well kept. And you guys are going to laugh. This is Elizabeth and Queen Elizabeth and King George in 1937. It is a bar of coronation soap. Kid you not. And listen, this soap still smells good. Struck from vanilla soap. The soap that freshens. <laughs> it still smells good. There's still, I still have another tea service on the way, but there is one cup and saucer and one sandwich or biscuit plate. Oh, hi, Vanessa. Whoo, baby, these are pink. You're, I mean, they're, they're more pink than my bags. They're about the same color as the, the candy bags that I pack. Your jewelry in. Okay. I guess it's best just to pull this big container up. Does anybody want to see about... Oh, at least $10,000 worth of jewelry. Here we go. In a humble Tupperware container. <laughs> oh, Christopher. I guess we'll show the, I'll pull the cameos out first because they're delicate, they're on top. Come down here. Well, if you want to play jewelry house, then yeah, you're at the right place. It's Valentine's Day, and to me, cameos are romantic. So, what did I do? I went cameo coo-poo. Well, I showed you the gold pendant. 
Many of these are pendant and brooches. I think I've shown a couple of them before, but we might as well take them out because they're so lovely. Why not? Sharon, until the other amber comes in, boy, you will love it. I have that rare Japanese piece. I've only ever found one similar to it online. And I can post that photo so you can see it. Uh, is that it for the cameos? Do I, don't I have more? Oh, and there is another gold heart. But it is on... Oh, yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you how to take care of them. Um, do you guys remember the pinchback? The rare pinchback, those fancy engraved bracelets that I had. I got one more. But it's it's not even close to, you know, it's very different from the ones that I had. And there is a solid gold locket. Oh, that's Victorian pinchback. And if you don't know what pinchback is, pinchback, there was um, a tax levied against fine metals. And there was a jeweler, Albert Pinchback, who actually developed a metal that looks exactly like gold. And they only used it for a very short time. That's why it's rare. A lot of people will claim that a piece is pinchback. That I can show you the chemical composition on that with an XRF. It is 100% Victorian pinchback. Late Georgian, early Victorian, actually. Okay, cameos. Gosh, she is six grams of 14 karat gold, white gold, of course. And she's <laughs> Edwardian and she is absolutely stunning. She's late Edwardian, early Victor or early Art Deco. She's so beautiful. I have, nobody's going to come for my cameos this week because they're all, they're all pretty. Of course, this one is Art Deco. And she is a Charles Dana Gibson, Gibson girl. And she's in Sterling and she signed. They're all beautiful ladies, every single one of them. She's Art Deco, she's in Sterling with gold roping. She's late Georgian and she's pinchback. She's a neoclassical Greek lady. Art Deco, Sterling with Marcosite. This one is also signed. She's late Edwardian. You can see she's signed. So, the difference between signed and unsigned, these were like master artists who signed their work. This is also pinchback. 
I'd say, you know, she's a more plain, but come on, guys. People didn't have cosmetic surgery and makeup back in the day. So, ladies just, you know, were not as pretty. She reminds me of Tinkerbell. She's so gorgeous. Now, she's late Victorian. She's signed as well. And she's a pendant. This lady is Deco. And yep, she's signed. This is Queen Conch, the pink shell. She's Victorian and she's in gold. Nine carat. You know, even if it's not marked, I have it XRF. Plus, you get the weight. Not like you would ever. This is also pinched back the three graces. Yeah, I go for sterling pinchback or gold. You know, that's me. Okay, since a lot of those are Victorian, I'm going to show you this Victorian bracelet that I absolutely adore. Another thing I love with that for Valentine's Day, or you'll see them a lot, cherubs and angels. Of course, Cupid. Now, this is gilt metal, probably brass. But it is heavily gilt. It's Victorian. It is just out of this world. Even the back of it is pretty. And it's more rounded now. If you had a broader wrist, we can always, you know, reshape it into something that's more elliptical. Yeah, that um, repose is when it's raised relief. I'm, I'm a repose junkie. You'll, you'll see it often in my pieces. This one is Victorian and panel. Hi, RJ. Sterling, look how stunning this is. Now, it has um, sort of a clasp that I, I think has been changed. I would like to see it go back to the chains and a big ring, you know, bolt ring. But if your wrist is smaller and it fits the way it is, that is sterling and the whole bracelet is sterling. And you won't find another one like it. I can't find another one like it to comp it. Of course, there's going to be lots of hearts. Sterling heart with diamonds. Huh, not very Valentine's unless, you know, snakes are your thing. Antique snake bangle with ruby eyes. I've showed him, but, you know, just quickly. Oh, he's Victorian, by the way. Mr. Snakey Snake is. That Mr. Snakey Snake. Okay, this bracelet, I showed it last time, but I really did not get to describe it. I just said it was rare. Of course, you know, you're probably looking at it and going, that's not agate. It is Scottish. You can see it's all, every panel is different and it's, you know, all been hand chased, all been hand engraved. Anytime there's a buckle, it's more valuable. The reason this one is so valuable, this is not agate. This is ty from Tyree Marble, T-I-R-E with the mark over. 
and it is from one island in the Shetland Islands in Scotland. In the Outer Hebrides. So this is not from mainland Scotland. This is from one of the Shetland Islands. So that's what makes that one so rare. And that is specifically to the 1890s, that design. So that how we date that one. Now, this one, we have specimen. The last sale that I had, I had a big specimen bracelet. And Deb's like, oh, I can't believe you got another specimen so quickly. And I said, I got a good deal, so I'll pass the you know, the deal along to you guys. But this is a Victorian Scottish agate specimen. And we had, we saw these panels, and I think this panel and this panel, but we did not see the blue agate. And that is not dyed banded blue agate, that is natural. And there are geodes you can see in these slices. And this bracelet dates between 1870 and 1900. They made these specimen. I think they're so stunning. But that's me, my taste, you know. My taste might not be everyone else's. Now, saying that, I'm going to show you this. It's a brooch and a pendant. I'm a Gemini, so, you know, a twin. So anything twins, I'm all, I always gravitate to. These beautiful angels are a brooch and a necklace. They're vintage. They're not antique. Mm, Mike, for me, I like cameos because I could never decide on what, if I was going to ever have a tattoo, I couldn't decide on what to put. So a cameo is like wearing artwork. So some people might wear tattoos and I'll wear a cameo. Would you believe, Ramel, that this is actually a Native American piece? There's a designer called Dakota West, and they partnered and actually merged on well, the pins loose, but the that's the bail. They partnered with Stube, S T U B E, and that. I'm sure you've seen native pieces marked with a dollar sign. That is Stube. But this was a design house called Dakota West. This brooch, just, just the brooch itself, is on eBay for $120. I'll start it on this Omega for a lot less. It's, it's a big piece. <laughs> I put, you know, people say, why do, why do men like them? Why does anyone like, you know, because they're art for your body. And, and you don't have to wear it every day. Right? Okay, art for your body. I told this, Deb, this bracelet keeps twinkling at me and calling to me. Pick me up. Pick me up. I'm pink. <laughs> Sterling rose gold. And um, I'll measure and give you the total gem weight, but a crap ton of pink spinel. All in fancy shapes. This is another stunner. 
provided you like pink. I might like pink, just, just a little bit. Not so you'd notice. Um, this one's actually going to be on the tray. It is sterling silver, and it's from India. It's carnelian and maybe Asian turquoise. Might be tur. It has to be turquoise. Does not. It doesn't test for glass. But blue and orange are just classic. Turquoise and Cornelian. Pretty piece. You know me, my tastes are like all over the place. This little girl is Georgian. She's of course all hand painted. They did have transfer wear back in the day. Don't think because it's Georgian that they didn't have transfer wear. Yes, they did. But she's not transfer wear. She's just as sweet as pie. I love her. She's got the old T-bar and the extra long pin. And, of course, she's porcelain. She would be just so dramatic at the throat. She's gorgeous. Or, uh, she's late Georgian, early Victorian, Christina, because she's pinchback. Let me get her clasp. Might have to play with that clasp a little. No, it's okay. See that extra long length? You know, the fabrics were heavier, so they had to have a sturdier, heavier, longer pin to go through heavier fabrics. She would be amazingly, ama she would look amazing pinned to your cuff. You could wear her like a bracelet almost. Or you could have her facing you so you could look at her. But some brooches are just meant to be seen. She's beautiful and she should be seen. And if you wore her on your cuff, she would definitely be seen. Okay, let's see. I have loads of critters. Um, I'm, I'm a dragonfly person more than a spider. I think the spiders are cute. Some of them are cute. Some of them are menacing. I mean, I've got a load of dragonflies here. Oh gosh, what'd I do with them? Right, here's another one. There should be one more. Now all of these are vintage. They are not antique. Um, I'll tell you the different. Oh, there's the other. I knew I had more forget me not. Do da do da. What in the heck is it? Dragonfly, where are you? Oh, let me show you the ones I have in my hand. This one is huge. Of course, garnet and marcasite. Well, follow me, kid. <laughs> I'll tell you loads of ways to wear, wear your jewelry. Oh, never have your snakes look at you. I have some snake jewelry because you know I do. I do like snake jewelry. 
And this one's Mother Pearl and Marcasite. And here's a plate du jour. Plate du jour and Marcasite. That is not a CZ. Um, it registers, it's probably crystal. Well, thank you, you like jewelry. You like jewelry, I like jewelry, we all like jewelry. Uh, let's see. What else can I pull out of the hat for you? I have an incredible um, Bob's working on the clasp. Not the clasp, um... soldering a piece on um, a micro an antique micro mosaic necklace it wait wait till you see that because it's pretty amazing um I have some mini mosaic and I have some micro mosaic First mini micro. These are all gorgeous. Lois, 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 are you Lois that asked about the Tiffany? The Tiffany is still here. I don't, I don't sell anything outside of my sales. Don't, I don't go there. If I give, if I give a price on something, then, you know, and we've already seen it and I've described it, then yes. Now guys, this is vintage, probably 1970s when coins were, you know, big. It, they come in and out of fashion. For me, I, you know, you are, if you know me, you know I love coin jewelry. Um, this is a coin that was used. Now, I do believe, unfortunately, that these are replica. I, I do get ancient coins. But these are replica of a coin of Athena that was used 500 years before Christ. Oh no, some some another Lois then, honey. Ask about the Tiffany necklace. And this is sterling and 18 karat gold over sterling in the mounting. And they're front and back. I, I love coin jewelry. I don't care who says it's in fashion, out of fashion. It's classic. It never really goes out of style. And when you wear coins like some of the coins that I have, it's it's money. It's 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 always worth something. Money's always worth something. Paper money. Sometimes it's not it's not worth the paper it's written on. But coin, especially if it's silver or gold, it's always worth money. Art Deco, French, claw set, strawberry spinel. Strawberry pink spinel. I have some gorgeous Art Deco rings this time, guys. I kid you not. Look at this jade. This thing is so pretty. It is so, so, so pretty. And it's not a giant ring, but it has a lot of presence on the hand. I mean, you know. It's 
Oh, no worries, Lori. Oh, I swear, you know, I must have lived in that time. I I love the period. I love the jewelry. I'm I'm a jade junkie. Admittedly, I'll, I'll admit it, I'm a jade junkie. Now this one is 1950s. Green apple jade and sterling. I will black light all of it for you. All of that silver is engraved. It's it's gorgeous. I know I say it's gorgeous. Oh, here's the other. Here's the other. The other garnet dragonfly. I've I've got quite a few valuable jade pieces tonight, honey. Now this one is not among them because I told you. This is 1980s, that's the 1920s. And although that looks like green apple jade and it is jadeite, it's also compressed. Now, even with it being 80s, it's still 40 years old. It's still gorgeous. But it wouldn't be the value of a 1920s piece with a piece of real, solid, you know, untreated jadeite. Is it still stunning? Absolutely. You know, but I'm not here to tell you. You know, oh, oh, that's 20s. You know, no, it's not. It's 1980s, does the 1920s. Um, this one is vintage. This is also signed and from Scotland. It's a heavy Scottish Celtic knot. I love Celtic knot bracelets, rings anything to me it's gorgeous it's classic um i'm just pulling some sterling rings now this is that one it does have some diamonds but a lot of it's illusion it's not going to be very much money i mean yeah there there's a row of diamonds but a lot of that is illusion so big diamond look easy on the pocket Okay, this one is probably 1970s. Moonstone, giant moonstone. Now this one is new. People were asking me for band rings. This is rock crystal quartz and amethyst. Hi, Nicola. Sterling and gold. I love a cigar band. Love, love, love a band ring. Big presence, and that doesn't stand up at all. So you get a lot of bling, but it's user friendly. Let's put it that way. Um. Vintage sterling buckle ring. Always fabulous on any finger. Love a buckle. I'm going to start pulling out the Scottish ones. I, as I show them, I'll give you dates and what they are. Let's grab the oldest one first. Now, this is about the um, late 1800s when the, the agate bracelets were popular. That buckle is sterling, baby, and it is 
Where is my mask? Here it is. So it can go up, but it can't go down. You know how the sterling goes. That I'm going to call that a seven, even though it's just a bit over a seven because it's wide. Between a seven and a seven and a quarter. You know when you have a wide ring, you got to be careful. It's not going to be a ton of money, Nick, honestly. Okay, the agate bracelets. This brooch is from the time of the agate bracelets. Ooh, dangerous. Of course, it's gorgeous, glowing chalcedony. 1860, 1900, thereabouts. This is Ward Brothers, Art Deco, sterling with chrome over it, rhodium, Scottish, of course, 1930s. Nineteen thirties, Ward Brothers signed. Look up Ward Brothers; they're very collectible. Sterling. Oh, did we have a date? Yeah, we've got a date on it. I'll let you know. Probably Edwardian. Edwardians did a lot of bar brooches. This could have been a bar brooch or a kilt pin. Scottish thistle, but sterling. Another Scottish thistle with an amethyst. Love, love, love. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, definitely during the time of the bracelets, Montrose Agate, which, you know, ever since I sold a couple Montrose Agate bracelets, it is, I, it's, it's impossible to get one under, and I'm a dealer, kids. It's impossible for me to get one under 400 pounds. That's about 520 or $530. Yeah. I'm, I'm priced out. Let's put it that way. Because, you know, six, seven hundred is a, is a big push. I, do I sell things for that? Yeah, every sale. But, you know... First of all, that's my price. I'm not going to make a nickel's worth of profit. Um, Art Deco. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Art Deco Sterling with gold over. And this gorgeous little locket brooch is gold lined. It's French. It's Marc Deposé. This is just a preview, honey. No sale today. Just a preview. I'm just saying what everything is, and then you guys get to vote, you know, what you want to see. You can let me know tomorrow. Hey, I want to see that piece, or, you know. Of course, Scottish, 1860s, 1870s. Sterling, barrel carved agate just going over the pieces and giving you know just a, a quickie of what they are same time period Dub dub. A little bit more fancy. The other ones, if you're, you know, if you want something a bit more plain, I'd like to buy something for everyone. Okay. Um, Edwardian Citrine. Scottish. K. 
Celtic Victorian lace pin. And just like it says in the name, kids, they would pin it to their lace. Pin it to their lace collars, their lace cuffs. I didn't invent the brooch at the wrist. Probably the Victorians did. I think we saw this one. It's Victorian. The crown. I've got to find out what this is about. I can't believe I haven't done that. Now, saying that, this one, I've had Victorian brooches. This is Pinchbeck and Sterling and Crystal. I think Rock Crystal because it goes up on the, the diamond tester. Let's see. That's basically a tray item. It's sterling. Um, but it's the year of the cat. In the Vietnamese calendar. And people love, lots of people, including me, love kitty cats. So I will put the chain eater choice on this pretty little filigree kitty. Ah, uh, Kimberly, thank you for coming in, sweetheart. British, here we go again. Twin cherubs. Last time it was twin angels. This time it's twin cherubs. Look at that punum. Just want to pinch those little cheekies. Vintage Christina, but not antique. Probably 1970s. They did a lot of filigree in the 70s. And it's marked 925. It's just a sweet little kitty actually not very little it's a pretty you know decent sized pendant she she has Siamese doesn't she your daughter this is sterling um marcosite I'm I'm gonna say probably more modern it's um uh what do you call those rhodochrysolite rubies emeralds and Sapphire. It's made to look like Art Deco. Oh, Tuxedo Kitty. We have Panda Cat, the Tuxedo, the Neighborhood Alley Cat. She's as feral as anything. I've been here two years and I still can't get her to let me pet her. I feed her every single day, twice, two meals a day. But she's just feral. Nine karat gold, pearls, and amethyst. Scottish. Edwardian. Now. There are a lot of pearl necklaces. Um, if... If we want to take a break from the pearls and you don't want to see pearls tomorrow, just let me know. We don't have to see pearls tomorrow. I'm the pearl junkie. But there's a lot of pretty ones. Saying that, there are a lot of pretty ones. Uh, pendants, I'm going to go through them quickly because there are a lot. I showed some in the preview. These are all Art Deco. These pink ones. And there is, I think this was a necklace and someone converted it. I'm going to show you what I mean. We've had the half um, Reverie. 
you know, Reverie is usually the, um, the full. Reverie. Rip, Riviera. Do we... I think someone converted a necklace into a bracelet. Because this is nine inches long. But you might need a nine inch bracelet. Or you might say, no, I want to put two sterling, you know, attach sterling chains to it. And I want it as a necklace. It's raspberry. It's pink. It's sterling. It's absolutely gorgeous. Whether you wear it, hi Kathleen, whether you wear it as a bracelet or you wear it as, you know, have me convert it back to a necklace. Either way, whatever, it's gorgeous. Okay, kids, these are all Art Deco. You know I'm going to have crystal. You know I'm going to have glass. You know I'm going to have deco. So we have pink. And I've got green. And one of these is Award Brothers. And another one of them is Uranium. Hi, Andy. This green crystal one, it's long. It's Award Brothers. Um, that's called peridot glass. And there's gorgeous peridot glass earrings. This is uranium. Autumn. Autumn's here. Of course, we'll have a light show both days. It's dark here. I mean, <sighs> sterling pendants, guys. Oh dear goodness! You don't. You don't know. You don't. You have no idea. And this is just what I have out. I could literally show you nothing but pendants, sterling pendants, an entire show if I wanted to. If, if we were so inclined that that's what we wanted to do for six hours, we could do it. But let me show you what's here. Mama Mia. Can you hear that clanking? Um, if my husband left me over jewelry, oh girl, he'd have been gone a long time ago. A whole heck of a long time ago. That's a more modern moonstone. Very nice chain though. I have you I've showed you guys these before. We we got to see them but we never got to show them. And these are just the ones that I haven't really shown. Like I said, we could we could do a six hour show of necklaces, nothing but. I kid you not. Sterling necklaces. Antique and vintage. Oh, this is going to get on my last nerve because it's tangled. Not bad, but I'm trying to shake it out. It's not working. I'm just going to show it to you this way. That's the Edwardian blood on the moon. 
blood on the moon moonstone it's tangled with the vintage 1970s blue moonstone both are stunning of course one's edwardian the other one is 1970s um this is edwardian That's the rose quartz. That's like the Edwardian moonstone ones that were all hand bezel set. That one's got Deb's name written all over it. Deb's like, who, me? Yes, you. Uh, Victorian aesthetic. A swift or a swallow. It's, um... Victorian aesthetic locket, sterling silver. Oh, mama mia. When these tangle, I want to cry. And they are tangled. I will have to straighten them all out. Um, Art Deco, platinum cranberry glass entangled in this beautiful mess is that gorgeous 14 karat gold diamond and sapphire pendant um a sterling modern open heart oh gosh Oh, that fabulous blue spinel and sapphire. Sterling and marcasite French cross. This thing is like, just shoot me. It's gorgeous. Oh, shoot. 1980s does the 1920s diamond panther. Sterling Diamond Panther. Oh, uh, girl, you need Bob. You need Krabby Bob. It might be cheaper for you to send it to me. <laughs> uh, the Queen's Jubilee. Queen's Jubilee ingot. My husband would say, why did you, why does it need fixed? Just buy new. That cross is out of this world. It's a Chinese blessing. I'll find out before tomorrow. I know what it means. It's like a prosperity blessing. And a dragon, which I told you guys, I am a dragon. Well, that's my birth year. Vintage. Blue moonstone. More moonstone, yes. Yes, we are moonstone junkies. Yes, I am. This, I love this. Um, won't cry if it doesn't go. This gorgeous nine karat gold and sterling St. Christopher. My dad wore St. Christopher. I have it, but. Oh, you're a dragon too? Cool. Um, Art Deco, this is out, 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 out of this world, Citrine. Kathleen, I think you have a deco citrine. I have another big citrine pendant too. I'm telling you guys, I have a ton. Absolute ton. Uh, let us not forget the Edwardian lover's face. Because that is out of this world. I 
I think you got the German one, the 935. Because it's that was a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Okay. Um, Victorian cuffs, guys. Uh, I think we have enough. I'm not going to buy any for a while. Well, until these sell. Because, um, let me pull back here and show you how many of them I have. J just a few. Okie dokie. This one's larger too, Kathleen. You know, because they're they're on the snug side. Yep. Yeah. Uh, girl, I just said this one is larger. <laughs> I knew she was gonna ask me. <laughs> yeah, I have two, two that are larger, Kathleen. Um this gorgeous one that's all chased. And then this one that has um, the Japonism. Believe it or not, that one, I'll show you, it's bigger. Yeah, those are probably the two closest, Kathleen. Um, and believe it or not, um, I think this might be just a little, little tiny bit small, but this big buckle. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of tiny ones, Colleen. Little is not the problem. It's, it's finding larger for modern wrist. Oh, yes, yeah, sweetheart. I have tiny ones. Oh, thank you, girl. And then these are, of course, vintage. I think they're 1950s, but I adore them. The porcelain brooches. Black. Um, do I have? I don't think I have any here, Autumn, but I do have some coming in. Do you mean black, black, or black peacock? Because I have peacock that, uh, you'll see, loads of, um, oh, there's another sterling. That one's an amethyst. Another sterling Scottish brooch. Yeah, I went a little bit Scottish brooch crazy. Um, I think, I think that's it. I, I think, well, oh, the rings. Ha, ha, ha. I said, that's it. And I didn't show one ring, didn't I? Hmm. Well, I mean the jade. Modern, Kunzite, Georgian, Victorian, you know, the marriage piece, um, foiled back, amethyst, pearl, purple, sapphire, and diamond, um, alexandrite, amethyst, amethyst, citrine, Victorian garnet and pearl, art deco diamond and rubies, Rubies and pearls, um, Victorian. 28 carats of aqua praise and gold. The serpent with um, sapphire eyes. Green tourmaline and pearl, Victorian. Actually, late Georgian, early Victorian. Edwardian moonstone. That moonstone is gorgeous. Edwardian pearl, Victorian opals and rubies. Um, opaline glass and gold, smoky topaz, the entire, remember the entire bottom row, including, that is a 22 carat 
gold coin set in a nine carat mounting. Every single one of these rings is going to be either under a hundred or start at a hundred. And there's Art Deco, Art Deco, Victorian, um, Victorian Root Boot, 1950s. Art Deco rubies signed. Edwardian Moonstone. Art Deco Moonstone. Um, 1970s Gold Coin. Art Deco. Blue Spinel. Black Opal. Uranium Glass. Cameo. Um, nine Karat Gold and Sterling. Huge Nine Karat Gold and Sterling Cameo. Two Art Deco right and left bow rings. And the Edwardian carved sterling ring with hand-painted portraits of the boy and little boy in red. Um, Edwardian. So, I think that's pretty quick. I showed you the couple jade rings. Thank you, Kathleen. I wanted to go something different. Pink and stiletto. I don't know why I say it that way. Stiletto, it's stiletto. <laughs> but kids, I, I <laughs> it looks like a train wreck. Look at look at how much look at this desk. Ugh. I did have it all cleared off. So if you think you missed anything, watch it back. Definitely comment on this video pieces that you'd like to see. If you're worried that someone's going to say, oh, uh, Lisa's not here, but Lisa wants that. You know, so I'm going to go. It, it doesn't work that way. Nobody goes against you. I mean, they. everyone likes what they like. And that's what makes it interesting anyway. You all know I started as low as I possibly can. So, we'll have a good time. I hope if you have any questions about anything, write it in the comment section and I will answer it for you. If I can. Hopefully, it's my jewelry, I hope so. <laughs> They're all being quiet. Why? This thing on? <laughs> uh, 5 p.m. Eastern is when we'll start. You know, it's it never starts on time. We sit around and chatter for a half hour, 45 minutes. No, I'm so, you know, guys, I'm going to be, you know how discouraged I was over that whole ship. I know it wasn't me. I know it wasn't anybody. It wasn't even Royal Mail. They got hacked. It wasn't their fault. We can't really blame them. Tomorrow is 5, it'll start at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. That's 10 p.m. for me. We'll, we'll carry on for two or three hours, and then we'll pick up on Saturday. Now, Saturday, it'll start at 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern. And that's still 7 p.m. for me. And when you figure I go five or six hours, you know... <laughs> It gets to be pretty late here, guys. And as much as I love you, and as much as I miss being with you all, I still have to sleep sometime. So, I hope that everyone found something that they love. Um, I hope I gave, you know, alternatives for everyone to be able to get something. Oh, I missed you all too. That I could not see 
without having a plan in place, and now that Royal Mail has come forward and said, listen, we'll give you a meter, you know, just print it off and bring it in and we'll ship it out with a printed label. Now that we have a plan in place, okay. Because if I didn't have a shipping plan in place, I wouldn't have done it again. And watch back. If you didn't catch the beginning about DHL, watch back and see what they wanted. I, I, I broke down in tears. It was that bad. <laughs> Deb, you're the mod here. <laughs> you're kind of stuck. I told her, no, you don't have to do Friday because I don't want to do that. I don't, you know, I don't want to force you into doing, and she's like, no, no, I don't want to be pushy, but if you need help, I'll do it. Like, girl, I always need help. But you all help. Like, Christina just put that in, you know, in chat to remind everyone to write your favorite piece or, you know, what you'd like to see Friday and Saturday. Yep. Just write it somewhere on the video. All right, guys, I was stupid and drank some Diet Coke, so hopefully I go to sleep at some point. <laughs> I love you all, and I will see you all very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Queen, queen, queen. <laughs> God, God bless the queen. Good night, guys. Thank you. Oh, I love you, too. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. <laughs> we know, Justine. We know. Good night, guys. Oh, this camera just got the shot. <laughs>